What's going on, guys? My name is Dean, the founder of Serum AI. To give a little background, we build and integrate bespoke AI solutions into your company's tech stack. We worked in all industries, insurance, uh, real estate, even building custom MVPs as well. Uh, but in this video, I want to do demo you guys a um, new product feature that we recently just released um, with uh, Serum Flow. And for those of you guys that don't know, Serum Flow is essentially a um, tool that integrates with your favorite no-code apps such as Bubble. Um, so you can create custom um, LLM, a custom AI solutions, upload your own data, um, have users upload their own data directly in Bubble with just a few no-code workflows. Very simple to get set up. Um, I have some other videos on this channel that go more in depth of it. And we actually also have a template on the marketplace as well, free template that you can use if you guys want to follow along with this. Um, now, obviously, if you do want to um, actually use the features of Serum Flow, you will need an API key, um, and you'll have to sign up with an account um, on our website. You can access that here. But yeah, let's uh, let's get into it. So again, guys, this is the free template we have on the marketplace. Um, so it's really as simple as just adding a new file. And our new uh, feature allows users to directly delete files um, from the interface on Bubble. And uh, we'll actually upload a file and delete it. And I'll show you guys it even deletes it in our back end, in our actual um, own standalone version, uh, Serum Flow. So let's go ahead and actually just upload a file. We'll call this um, Bitcoin. Give a little bit of a description. This is a file about the Satoshi Papers. Um, we'll go ahead and actually upload a file here. Bitcoin, it's just a PDF file. You can upload CSV files, doc files. Um, a whole lot. We have a whole lot of document loaders um, supported. We'll just go ahead and save this. And um, if you guys see in kind of our little CRM we built, again, this is more so just a demo, but you can see that now uh, we get the file name, our description, uh, the ID, as well as we can even view the file, uh, which is pretty cool just for reference. And again, guys, only um, the user that's logged in can access this information. I'm going to show you just how easy it is to set up. But first, if we go into our um, application and let's just go ahead and refresh this here, we'll see that we have our file uploaded along with the subuser ID. And again, guys, this subuser ID, this is just a unique value of um, the unique user ID of the person that ingested the file. And uh, we can actually go ahead and chat with this as well. Again, this is all included in our free um, template, but we can just ask something very simple like, um, what is proof of work, right? Um, so for those of you that don't know, this is, uh, so there we go. We, we get a response um, about proof of work, which if we just go back, let me lower, make my face small here. And if we go back to our um, file CRM, we can see obviously that this is a uh, paper specifically about um, kind of introducing uh, the proof of work system Bitcoin. I mean, if you want to get into it, you can get really technical. But yeah, um, you can obviously see we can chat with it. You can do a whole lot more. Again, we're just doing a very simple chat feature for the demo of this. You can obviously tie this into your other workflows. But um, we can actually now delete files as well. So we'll go ahead and click delete here. And um, you can see your file has been deleted. And if we actually go back into um, our application, Serum Flow, we're going to see that the following file was deleted, um, which means that, you know, users just on your own and the end users using your application can uh, fully manage and delete their files, uh, which is pretty incredible. And all of this again, guys, it's done with just a few workflows, which we'll go ahead and um, actually look into that right now. So once we come in our uploaded docs page, which is this uh, page I'm referencing here, and if we go into the workflows, and um, we'll select, we'll first look at this, the save, um, the, the saving of the file. Again, there's some other workflows. Uh, this is just to make it a very like robust and um, robust and production ready uh, system. But you can really see that the only kind of necessary ingestion file or the necessary workflow is just this uh, step two here, which is where we're just taking that URL um, which is uh, the reference to the file that we uploaded it and uh, putting it in our system. And that's really it. 
Uh, we also have a new workflow as well. Um, this is a get sub user file. So with this, essentially we're getting, uh, we're returning back all the files that are uploaded um, in our account in Serum Flow. We're only referencing the users that actually ingested the file. Um, so again, you can really do what you want with this. I'm not gonna go in depth here. If you wanna check this out for yourself, um, even before trying it out, you can definitely uh, just come and download it off the marketplace and um, kind of go in depth and see how I built it. Again, there's a lot of different ways we can build this, but you can simply see here, I'm just getting the user files um, from our app and then just displaying it to the user in this repeating group um, on the front end. So, and then uh, just to show you guys how easy it is for the delete, um, you can see the icon trash. And again, I have some other workflows. This is just to delete files on Bubbles end. So we'll just come back and add that file again. Uh, I'll call this Bitcoin PDF, test, test, um, upload the same file, and then uh, click save. So again, it's gonna do the ingestion and then it's gonna show up in the repeating group here uh, where we can view it. And then let's just go back to our app. We can see it's going to be listed here, but now let's actually go in Bubbles database solution um, and we can see that it's actually going to be listed here. Um, well, we have the sub user ID. And again, guys, I just did this manually. Um, you don't have to do this, but obviously if you want to see for yourself and kind of manage what files have been uploaded on your system, you can do that. And so when we delete said file, it's actually going to go ahead and um, delete the reference to this in the files as well as in the file manager to ensure that you guys, um, you know, your users aren't taking up your space. Um, so if we just come back here, we'll go ahead and delete this. We'll get the little uh, toast notification here. Following file is deleted. And if we go back, um, you can see it's gone from our database. I had another test here um, that I manually added, but you can see that we, we had two previously. One of them was deleted. And uh, if we go back to the file manager, we can see that one of the uh, Bitcoin PDFs that we uploaded was deleted. Um, so yeah, guys, that's pretty... Uh, Pretty straightforward. Like I said, if you want to kind of see the workflows for yourself um, to gain a little bit more of an understanding before you try it, maybe definitely check it out. Um, and again, you can. There's a number of ways you can do this. Um, for instance, rather than getting the users directly from there, we could just get it from the um, you know stored um, you know files data type that we have. Um, there's really a lot you can do. Um, there's a whole lot of um, good success stories as well that I'd love to talk about um, as well on our uh, blog or on this channel about users using this in different industries as well. If you guys have any questions on all the different workflows and updates and uh, getting started, you can also check out our documentation, um, which I'll leave a link and you can actually access it from our uh, site when you sign up, but you can see all the different no code workflows as well as um, all the data types and whatnot. If you want to get technical, um, but yeah, guys, I hope this helps. If you have any questions, definitely leave it in the comments below. And um, yeah, I'm going to be also kind of doing more demos and tutorials of the solutions that we're creating for our clients. Um, and um, also kind of ideas that you guys can um, do as well, or perhaps integrate into your own tech stack. So yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed this. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.